truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I'm Alfred. Oh, uh, okay. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We're picking up exactly where we left off. Uh, I just sent um, Raul home to his shaku. And then I'm heading back to Novak because I really want to do that thing. Where is this town? Here we go. Back. All right. Now I believe we need to wait a certain amount of time. One hour, approximately. Time to do some detective work. How you doing? Welcome back. Can I get? Sure thing. Oh God! I just remembered that I have to play a whole bunch of games of Caravan. Oh god, I'm so not... I'm so... Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh man, I don't want to play a whole bunch of games of Caravan. <laughs> uh, I'll have to, and I will, I think, but fuck, dude. Yeah, that's another uh, legendary. Service rifle upgraded springs. I'll need that at some point, I think. Come. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Yeah, see ya. Which one of you's the... Isn't he supposed to be the nighttime sniper? Don't they switch at 8? Because it might be 9. Have I forgotten? I'm not above forgetting something. Hey there. If you're planning on staying a while, the Dino Delight's got plenty of... Okay, cool. There goes Manny. Maybe they switch at nine. No offense, but I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. So now's not a good time. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. 9 p.m., okay. So I was wrong. Yeah. yeah because doing? he's not currently in the dinosaur, he's off duty. Even though it is... 10. He needs to be physically out here. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? You expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? I just wanted to check out the view. I think you better leave. Do you treat everyone around here like this? Wait. You just got into town. Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Mm-hmm. And why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. You only trust strangers? I said it was a start. This town. Nobody looks me straight in the eye anymore. Okay. Well, what do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come, and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You want me to track down my wife? My wife's dead. Your wife. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. What do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. 
How do you know your wife is dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or the Legion will be after me next. And goodbye. Yeah. So, seeing as I've played this before, I know who to ask. I also know who it is, but that's less fun. Like I said, I could actually just go straight to where Benny is. For those who haven't paid attention or forgot, that's the fellow in the checkered shoe what shot me in the forehead. Yeah, I could actually just go straight to Benny, kill him, and start the rest of the game, but I don't really want to do that. Um, I want to have a very, like, I guess a traditional uh, gameplay. What can I do for you? Yeah. All right. Um, do I have anything for you? No, I don't. Bye. All right. Where's this bastard's house? There it is. Yeah, we want the uh, we want the old shitty burnt out shack. I found the road where I need to go, so we'll be right on over. Yep. Oh, Bach Noonan. Oh, Bach Noon, oh, Bach Noonan knows. Careful. They got spies all over. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. I don't mean any harm. We'll just see about that. You come any closer, and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. We can talk from this distance. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. Glare at no bark. Okay, okay, just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. Why do they call you no bark? Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. <coughs> I know what I seen. What do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or use the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you asked me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Well, who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Goodbye. If anyone asks, we know. So yeah, you've never seen an old coot as old and cootie as Nobark Noonan. That man... Ooh, he's a uh, he's nuts. He's nuts for real. So we're breaking into the Dino Delight. Hey there. This ought to be fun. Still got yeah, I got my Dukes up. I love the idea that you can upgrade your fist by putting uh, tape on them. I love the concept of upgraded fists. Hey, look at that. There's a safe in there. Oh, weird. Yeah, let's just loot this fucking place. Old ass magazines. Nice.
All right. So check this out. Bill of Sale. We, the representatives of the Consul Officiatorium, this is a bargain and purchased from Jeannie Mae Crawford, the township of Novak, the exclusive rights and ownership of the slave Carla Boone for the sum of a thousand bottle caps, and those of her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps, the receipt whereof it is hereby acknowledged. We warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We covenant with the said Jeannie Mae Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell a full slave and her offspring. Payment an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending maturation of the fetus, the claim to which shall be guaranteed by possession of this document. Scribonius libo durus et al. Administrators, yada, yada, yada. So, she was pregnant. In addition to uh, stealing a woman and selling her to slavery, first of all, no one owns a person in general. But second of all, she also uh, took said person. Nice. Round numbers. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, fuck. I totally had a thing that I needed. Hunter will be important. Oh, man. A lot of picks. A lot of picks. Grunt will be good. Sneering imperialist. Nice. Stone wall. Strong back. Oh, what the hell. I'm going to need strong back at some point. Nice. So yeah, she sold her and her unborn child. With intent to uh, claim extra. So not only did she do all that, but we know that because she kept the fucking receipt. Oh man. Who oh, boy. believe this is her house? Nope. Look who's here. So yeah. All the uh, things that I mentioned in the episode where one Jeannie Mae Crawford first appears. Well, there you go. That's why I was so coy. Also because I'm a coy bitch. But, you know, that's... Yeah, that's just the whole thing. Just, like, the idea that you would sell a person that you don't... You barely know, like... The reason, by the way, this hasn't come up yet in story, but the reason Jeannie Mae decided to sell Boone's wife is because she didn't like her. You know? She thought she just uh, talked too much. Thought she shot her mouth off. You know? Thought she just had to go. Just wasn't good for uh, for Novak. I should really just... So what's important now is that even though we have the actual culprit, we know who did it. The quest still says someone. It could be anyone in town. Like, it could literally be anyone in town. We could pick anyone and say, come out to the dinosaur with me. You know, we have need of you. Oh, we kept, I kept walking past it, damn. Hey there. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to live with her, but... I guess you got tired of waiting. Uh-huh. Well, what's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. 
Uh-huh. Well, come with me. There's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. Now, we do look fantastic with this thing on. Hell yeah. All right. Everyone got their popcorn? You're all going to see a magical trick. This bitch's head is going to explode. Hey, Boone. Hey, man, what's up? <gasps> oh, man. That's some good shit. You love to see it, you know? You love to see it. See, as I say, it could have been anyone. We could have we could have sent anyone to go stand in front of the dinosaur while we were here. I so happened to pick the one who it actually was. But, you know, that's irrelevant. That's it then. How did you know? So you could also say any of these, because this only shows up if it's her, you know? But for all the other ones, you can say these, but it won't get you a good end of the quest line. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here, this is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What are you going to do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now. Except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Come with me. Let's go after the legion. You don't want to do that. Oh, I think I do. Besides, I thought snappers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. All right, so now we have another cohort. And also, Novak is just undefended during the night, but whatever. Hey there. Need anything? Sure. All right. I'll need that at some point. It'll be really important to have, uh... Oh, nice. It'll be important to have uh, armor that isn't tied to a specific faction. So we are now, um, technically speaking, one-fifth of the way through the game. Not directly, but, you know, kind of. Because we've got... Uh, we've got to level 10 now. And the maximum level is 50. So... Yeah. We're, uh... We're pretty, uh, we're pretty good in, I would say. Ooh, the scenic toxic dump site. So I believe Boone, even though he's not officially... Uh-oh. Okay. Quick save, just to save. Uh, even though he's not officially a part of the NCR, he will still wear NCR armor. I can't remember, though. A lot of uh, companions get really squirrely about wearing faction gear. Um, like, people who la hate the Legion obviously won't put Legion gear on. Stuff like that, you know? And here I am heading north again. I feel like I've got this, like... I'm like a cow, you know? With a magnet in his stomach. I've got this insatiable urge to just go north. I just feel it, you know? Boone, I'm gonna need some help. Oh, 
Oh my god, my health. Really should have got my, uh, my, my shit all picked up when I was there. Turbo is really good for dealing with fire gex. Sorry, I guess I should call them geckos, since gek is a real thing in the Fallout universe. Wouldn't want anyone to be confused, you know? Oh, boom. Boone dead? Oh, Boone's dead. Take me. Yeah, like I said, we don't really have a quick gun. Reminds me, we can put this on now. Eh, uh, this will be good for the damage reduction. Whoops. Did you hate it when you accidentally fire your revolver by mistake? Alright, coming up soon, I'm gonna take a break because I'm getting a little peckish. Um, and I don't know how long it'll be before I record the next episode as well, so. But I wanna I wanna cut through these gex geckos. And also discover this next location. So I don't know how uh, the first episode hasn't even come out of this, but uh, I'm curious as to how a playthrough of Fallout 3 would be received by my adoring fans. By that I mean the two or three people who watch my videos. Oh, Cazadors, that's even worse. Ugly bug. Damn it. Come on, take me. Okay. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, Casadore. Is that a real song, or is that like a parody song created, like... Like, is that a real song that was ever sang by a real person, like, unironically? Yes, video game? I just, I can't believe that that's a real song, you know? Wings, the wings. Okay. Now, anti venom. Christ, it's not like I'm gonna need any. Like, I don't need a whole lot of anti venom, you know? I'm really starting to think that I might want to do a, uh, maybe not a big side quest chain, but. Can't run from me. Oh, 
Good. Get him, boom. Shit, shit, shit. So I believe that is either Jason or James Marsden. I can't uh, tell them apart, but um, it's the guy who voiced Max in a Goofy movie. Not in the show, but just in the in the Goofy movie. Finish him off. All mine. Thank you. All right. We're getting close to Nelson. Any closer, I'm shooting any legionary I see. Hope that's not a problem. Uh, no, that's not a problem. That's a solution. Damn right. You and I, we're just a couple of problem solvers. Feeling more... I just really have to do that. Just, I want to, I want to have the right amount, the right number of shells. All right. Um, I said I was going to go get a snack, but I may as well just, like, play video games until I'm woozy. Who's going to stop it, you know? Oh yeah, I love I love getting expensive shit. Yes. Ooh. And a full sarsaparilla. Got a real hankering for one of them. Satchel charge. Uh hmm. Those are cool, but like I don't really need one. I can be effective without satchel charges, you know? That said, having a bunch of mines is like a really good way to play New Vegas. It's gotten me out of a lot of jams. Because there's a lot of times where I don't have good enough guns to fight uh, certain melee enemies. Uh, and I don't have good enough melee of my own. But what I can do is... We're eight. We are neck deep in Casador County. Shit, that's out. That's totally dry. That's totally, totally dry. That isn't good at all. 95% chance to hit. I'll take those odds. <gasps> yeah. Drill them, Tex. <coughs> Just to make sure. I really love that reload animation. If you're making a video game, and there's guns in it, make sure that the animations to reload them are tight. I shot one too many. But yeah, like, if you're working on a video game, and it contains guns, if you have cool reload animations, you know, no matter what, I will like that game. Uh, there's that one game that, like, PS, PS4 launch title, I am of the opinion that that game sucks, you know? It's too short, it's way more of a tech demo, and it doesn't have enough meat to itself. Uh, the story is silly, even though it's meant to be a very story-driven game. And while the premise about, uh, like, what, Victorian-era steampunk werewolf hunters fighting werewolves is an okay premise, I, th I think the game is overall not able to stand up on its own. I, th I think that the reason people liked it is because it was a game that was on the PS4 back when the PS4 had no games. However, I will say that game has an awesome rifle reload animation. Nobody can fuck with that. No one should fuck with that. The the reload animations in that game are great. You know? Like I'm not going to lie to you. The rest of the game is mediocre. At best. But goddamn, those reload animations are top tier. Alright, 
well now that I've overloaded myself oh fuck fine yeah let's eat five pounds of that huh and now let's head to the gun runners I really like buying and selling from the gun runners because I know that they're not gonna fuck with me you know I haven't discovered his actual shack. Interesting. There. Um. But yeah, like, when, when, when I'm buying and selling from Chet, I don't like Chet that much. He's kind of a dickhead. You know? Welcome, sir. Or but, like, when I'm, when I'm dealing with the gunrunners, you know, I know that I'm going to get my money's worth. I know that they're going to they're gonna pay me what it's worth. They don't have any, you know, agenda. They're just, they're here, you know? Just a robot out here working his, working, working for a living. And you know what? I respect that a lot. I respect a robot who can, you know, Wake up nine to five, you know, work a job. Um, I don't know why I even have 12 gauges. 50 mg. I don't have anything for that. Um, and then I'm gonna need some ammunition, my good man. And by that, I'm gonna need some 20 gauge. He, okay, he does have 20 gauge, good. 40 of those. Nice, nice. Come back. Perfect. So while we're here, let's, uh, let's discover Raul's shack. Because I want to get my lightweight leather armor from him, and also repair uh, said lightweight leather armor. And then we're gonna go do uh, some NCR quests. We're gonna keep taking care of the fiends. Should avoid trying to get shot, but um, you know, hopefully it'll work out. Because the thing is, I need this armor to be on, and it needs to be repaired. But I don't know if that's exactly in the cards. You know, I'm gonna be fucking shot at. Although if I discover Camp McCarran now, can't remember exactly where it is. The rest is, ooh, New Vegas Med. That'll be useful. They're actually, um, I actually had a uh, subscription to PC oh. Gamer of all things. What? Mm. Why? Why do you hate me, Brahmin? Uh, I had a PC gamer subscription of all things back in the 2000s when like magazines existed. Um, and I don't know why I wasn't a very, like I wasn't a particularly prolific PC gamer. So it was kind of weird that I had a subscription to it. Um, but when New Vegas actually came out, a lot of people uh, complained about it, in fact. And like that always, I, I always, I, I couldn't believe it, you know? I was like, wait, really? You guys are gonna bitch about New Vegas? It's like, New Vegas, like, come on, guy, it's New Vegas. Like, I have a lot of friends who don't like Fallout, but like New Vegas. I have a lot of friends who, like, respect New Vegas as the best Fallout, and the truest to what Fallout could and should be, you know? And it's just, it's, it's amazing that, like, people hate New Vegas. Like, when it came out. Um, but one of the things that actually interested me is... When you get to New Vegas in this game. The, the town New Vegas. Uh, you're greeted with... Like, four casinos? And that was something PC Gamer actually talked shit about. It was either in... Their review of New Vegas when New Vegas came out... 
Herbal Dunn, Stack Caravan. It was either the review of New Vegas when NB came out, or it was when they were doing like a look back at Fallout 2. But in Fallout 2, you can actually go to uh, the new Center of Sin, as it were. And you can... Uh, star and pornography of all things and also there's a lot more places to gamble like there's a whole bunch of shit and the the thing that they were talking about in um, the review they were just talking about how like Fallout 2 has so much more shit to do and it's like debaucherous center of sin Fallout New Vegas you've got like you've got like three casinos and then another building and that's kind of it and like that's one of the few things that I think is valid. Uh, sometimes there are some things in this game that are a little empty, but I wonder if just making this a first-person RPG, uh, where it's you and a companion, as opposed to an isometric RPG with a party, I wonder if that changes things. Because in an isometric RPG, you would almost expect a more, you know, Baldur's Gate-like experience. Like, I... I love Fallout, but, like, I think Baldur's Gate is probably the de facto, like, this is the example for an isometric RPG. Oh my god, I'm not even in the right place. Why am I not in the right place? Weird. Actually, I can probably just take that marker off. Now I just gotta head east, by northeast, by east. Which is where I'm going. Uh, but yeah, Baldur's Gate, um, and the people who made Baldur's Gate either went on to make Dragon Age, which, uh, good way to follow up, I think. I didn't include, uh, in my discussion last episode about, like, uh, 90s RPGs and the games that they became, I didn't include uh, Baldur's Gate because Baldur's Gate didn't go anywhere besides coming back in, like, what, 30 years? I don't think it's been that long, but, like, in the 90s it was an RPG, and then in the and then in 2020 it got a, uh, a sequel. Like, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 came out in the 90s, and then 20-some years later, Baldur's Gate 3 comes out. So I didn't include it because it also uh, wasn't changed. It's still an isometric RPG, just like it was, you know? Just just like Grandma used to make, it's still that same camera angle, uh, remarkably similar camera angle and gameplay. But yeah, the people who made Baldur's Gate went on to make Dragon Age. Uh, and some of those people went on to make Pillars of Eternity, which I have not played, but I have heard a great deal of good things about. Main man, Raul. Oh, it's you. Um. Okay, he's got my stuff on him, so can I just save here? And pickpocket, like... Come on, man, it's my gun! Alright, Boone. What is it? If... Alright. Guess I'll be around. Oh, it's... Enemies better. Okay. I'm sure you'll be fair. I need this, 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 this. What can I do for you, Vaughn? Sure. Talk to Brad. Your shack, dog. What can I do for you, boss? That's why you're the boss. You always. He went to nowhere. Why do you do this, Raul?
Any chance I can find Boone? This is episode 9, so I haven't actually had a cut here. Oh man, he's all the way back in... Yeah, he is, isn't he? Nice, packet of eggs. Good and tasty. Goes down smooth, you know? Hello. Why did I come here? Wait, why did I come here? Uh, okay. Um, guess we're heading back to Novik. Where did he even go, man? I want to get him back. I miss him. Is he in one of these rooms? Oh, you know what? He has a house, doesn't he? Duh. I'm sorry, everyone. The New Vegas rust is showing. I don't know what it is, but I feel like if I were to do an LP of Skyrim right now, and I won't because I don't want to have two long-running, like, games on the channel. What can I do for you? Yeah, I don't want to have two long RPGs on the channel, um, though I've got so many RPGs that I want to play, I don't know if I have a choice. But, um, I feel like if I were, hypothetically, to do an LP of Skyrim right the hell now, I would remember a lot of it. Hey. But, like, with a lot of other games, like, um... I don't know if I could do that with Morrowind. I have demonstrably not been doing it with New Vegas. I don't think I could do it with Fallout 1 and 2, which, um... Like, I love Fallout 1 and 2. I think New Vegas is better. But both of those games kick ass. Well, no Bach Noonan knows. No Bach Noonan knows that if you put... <coughs> Pardon me. Well, now I'm alone and friendless. Why don't I quick travel back to the Raul house? Maybe a Raul will be back there. Oh. Can you repair some of my stuff? Alright. 94. Wow. Thank you, Raul. That's some good stuff. That is some good stuff. Hey, I got that out of my inventory finally. Okay, now I have two like nearly fully repaired uh, leather armors. And it's worse than this. Well, damn. Unfortunate. Though quick traveling back and away did uh, allow me to find Raul again, so perhaps I just need to do that and I will be able to find... <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Oh, boy. Um... I love this gun sight. I really do. I love how it, like, cups to the eye. 
It's so silly. He's already on me. Oh, man. Okay, I've got an idea. I just, look, I like killing death claws. I want to kill a death claw. Is that so much to ask? Okay. Now, let's get it started in here. He's probably going to come... God, I don't have my gun out. <gasps> Uh-oh. Okay. So that's a young Deathclaw. Okay. That didn't cripple his legs? Really? Scroll. Oh, Jesus. Help me, Raul. <laughs> oh, man, this is a uh... who boy. Your fucking legs break, dude? Why did I just get that much XP? Oh, nice. His legs broke. Good. Means that I can switch over to this thing. What's it take, man? He stepped on a landmine. Shot him in the leg with a shotgun a couple hundred times. There's the other leg. Okay. Oh boy. What should I even hit him with now? Look, I'm Arizona Tex, and I'm suicidally overconfident. Got a problem with that? Well. I guess you can just wait it out. I'll probably be dead soon enough anyway. My health is actually regenerating pretty good, though. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Well, I should have done something about it is what I should have done. Oh, my armor condition is already low? 
Oh, the hat. Okay. That isn't bad. Whoa. That's it. Never mind. Don't care. Make. All right. I'm working on it. What do you need? Later. Honestly, guys. Oh, got some good stuff around here, huh? Well, um, this was a. Something of a silly diversion. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna save here, in fact. What is that? Oh man, am I getting distracted again? Oh boy. Oh, it's just you. Right, all my limbs. Still broken. Uh, actually, this is a good place to stop the episode. So I'll save here. After I select something. Yeah, we'll do that next time. But yeah, as I said... Uh, I've been Alfred, this has been Fallout New Vegas. A shorter episode, and I am very, very unfocused. Um, I'm sorry about that, but thank you guys for bearing through it, sticking with me. See you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye bye You fought valiantly, but to no avail. Your twisted and ruined body goes down in a hail of bullets, and thus ends your life in the wasteland.